In this video, I'm going to be creating a piece inspired by the Pre-Raphaelites. I just want to disclaim that I knew pretty much nothing about this group of artists beforehand, other than seeing Ophelia in Tate Britain. I tend to get really obsessed with one topic and try to learn as much as possible about it. So for me, that was the Impressionist. I was just naturally drawn to their work and I didn't really have the time or energy to extensively look at anything else. But if you watched my last video, you would have seen that I picked up a bunch of secondhand art books and one of them was this book on pre-Raphaelite women. Also in my last video, I spent a night away in this gorgeous Airbnb and in the morning we had the most amazing morning light flooding the room. So naturally I took a bunch of photos hoping to use one of them as a painting reference. One of these photos jumped out immediately and something about it just instantly made me think of the Pre-Raphaelites. So that's where the idea of this video came from. I'm going to do some research and then paint this self-portrait inspired by Pre-Raphaelite paintings. Here is the reference photo that first sparked the idea to research the Pre-Raphaelites. I think it was something about the elongated neck, expression and the hair that was being emphasised by the lighting. It mentioned in my book that there was often an emphasis on loose and luxurious hair and the women would plait their hair before modelling so that it had a wave to it. I knew that I would want to edit the hair in my reference to be bigger and more voluminous and also adjust the saturation to get that orange glow that so many of the paintings had. Just before I start painting, I want to show this page that I found interesting um, with two paintings of the artist and model Elizabeth Siddell, one by Rossetti who painted a glamorous portrayal of her, which was the pre-Raphaelite style to paint beautiful, idealised women. But there's this other self-portrait which suggests a more anxious and self-critical version of her. When I paint a self-portrait, I never see it as myself, it's just a face I'm using mainly for convenience, but I wonder whether I'll be able to emulate the pre-Raphaelite idealised woman or whether I'll capture my own anxious state. Let me know what you think at the end.
I'm not necessarily trying to paint in the exact same style or use the techniques that the pre-Raphaelites used. I think they were very focused on capturing every little detail and their paintings were rich with symbolism. I'm still trying to develop my own style and I've been focusing on economy of brushstroke, so doing the least amount to be able to read what the painting is. I personally find this harder because I want every brushstroke to be beautiful and visible and I can't just paint exactly what I see in the reference but I'm actively telling myself to simplify and group together shapes. I definitely haven't mastered this yet but that's always what I'm thinking of while I'm painting. about to start my third painting session on this piece. The first day I just uh, drew out the outline and blocked in the face and then yesterday I was working on the background, the hair and the shirt which it all still needs a bit of work but today I want to focus on finishing the face. So the underpainting has had a couple days to dry but still, I'm not really used to these panels, so I don't know what it's going to be like painting on top of this. So I, I really hope I can pull it together. And maybe finish the whole thing today. It should be doable, but I'm spending a lot of time not procrastinating, but considering what to do next. So yeah, wish me luck. Also, I've been listening to this video on Rossetti and oh my god, his life. I'm finding it so interesting. I went to my boyfriend yesterday and I was like, you'll never guess what the gossip, what went down in like 1850. <laughs> and obviously he had uh, no interest, like absolutely no interest in the story of Rossetti's life when I told him about it. But hopefully you're the right audience and you would be interested so i recommend this video crazy stuff